Today, we had a pretty big launch in the crypto ecosystem with ChatGPT. Together with GPT token, uh, it's one of the most hyped AI crypto coins right now. And in this video, I'm going to do a deep dive as well as a review of the whole project. So GPT in general stands for Generative Pre-trained transformer. transformer. Transformer relates here to the architecture of a particular machine learning model, neural network, and uh, pre-trained means it's pre-trained on some kind of a data, and generative means it can generate a bunch of stuff. So GPT was invented by uh, OpenAI, this kind of uh, this kind of model. But transformers in general are uh, in the machine learning market for a couple of years already, and they were super popular, especially in text generation and different tasks. Really Related to text. So this is the, the preamble to uh, going into crypto GPT. Uh, the idea behind crypto GPT is uh, somewhat different because it focuses on AI, but the business model is all about data. Basically, crypto GPT uh, wants to take the data of users and basically allow anyone to monetize their data. Uh, so the way it works is uh, you will have your data in a kind of a capsule that you will be able to sell on the open market for people, of course, anonymized, but for people to use uh, in the development of AI models for particular applications. Pretty cool idea. Uh, if they manage to pull that off, that would be really hats off and a great achievement. So let's get into the product itself. It's already live on a couple of exchanges, so it started on Uniswap, but you can buy it, for example, right now on Maxi, Gate.io, or Bybit, or BitGet uh, as well, and you can start experimenting with the coin and with the uh, with the whole protocol as well. So basically, uh, it launched as ERC20 on um, Ethereum as well as on Binance, Smart Chain, and uh, there's a bunch of interesting stuff already on the website, so I want to go uh, through that. Basically, they promise to have NFTs related to the data as well. So you have this kind of a capsules, meet the infrastructure for the artificial intelligence boom. So you have this on-chain NFTs that store your activity data. Uh, this will have to be, of course, on the layer two to uh, not have problems with payment for the gas. Uh, I don't know if they will do their own uh, layer two or will they use uh, one of the existing ones that probably is to be determined in the future. Uh, but the whole idea here is that you'll be able to earn as you leave. So it's to earn from anything really, as you will see in a moment. There's an easy to connect to SDK if you want to use this data as a developer for your applications. Um, and uh, the crypto GPT core is a set of applications developed by the foundation because they want to start with, uh, with the goal of actually there's something happening. So they want to develop that uh, themselves. So AI capsule from marketplace, uh, AI boxes that have randomized rarity stats. Uh, so there will be also some kind of a gaming component to the whole thing. Uh, then they talk about the market size. Of course, the market size for data is uh, humongous. And if you can capture just a, a bunch of that, uh, a small part of that market, then it's already quite big uh, if you manage to do it. And then crypto GPT is the layer two that is dedicated blockchain for AI development, especially from the data standpoint, uh, as far as I understand. So scalable layer two, truly distributed and uh, totally limitless, uh, meaning scalable, ultra low cost transactions combining with a powerful architecture. Uh, and you have this AI tooling uh, inside of that. So there's a roadmap. Some of the stuff is already um, being done. So you have think, things like uh, the whole roll-up uh, design and basically they probably will release that uh, in some form. So right now we're in Q1. So AI data cap capsule NFT launch is coming. First apps integrating crypto GPT on testnet. Uh, and then you will have app launcher release with apps committed to building on the crypto GPT ZK rollup layer to crossing 1 million users. So uh, in Q2, we can expect closed mainnet. Uh, so, and then after some tests, you will have beta mainnet in Q3 and probably the full mainnet will release uh, in 
uh, in Q4. So uh, I'm not sure again, like how, what will be the use of GPT tokens that we have right now. Probably it will be somehow translated to the, uh, for, the for the gas utility once we have the mainnet. Uh, the, the full mainnet and this will serve as a gas token for, for the mainnet. This would be a natural point to do. Uh, as you can see, there's also a bunch of stuff related to different apps launching, different physical AI data capsule NFT releases, so a bunch of other stuff. Uh, team is also here, so some of the team members are dogs. You can check them out on LinkedIn or Twitter, uh, so that's cool. Uh, then you can go to, uh, to economy and business. So economy is basically uh, wa walking you through tokenomics, uh, how much is going to the team, how much to the public, liquid staking, uh, st uh, staking marketing, and so on. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of stuff like that. And you have the vesting here available as well. So in the first year, uh, you will only get like one third of the tokens, maybe up to one half in a, in a year and a half. Uh, so that's the, that's the tokenomics uh, of, the, of the network. Now, uh, you can go also to business to see the, what, what's, uh, what's happening here. Uh, and then here it's very clearly that they mentioned that uh, basically data is the main concern and they want to focus on data and making sure that they can monetize data. So this is, uh, this is hard, but if ma they manage it well, then it's, uh, it can be really a great business model uh, because of course, uh, buying and selling data sets is a great uh, business model where you have really high margin if you might make it well. But for that, you have to have correct architecture so that, for example, machine learning engineers can easily use the data in their applications. Probably that's the biggest challenge here uh, to be able to use that uh, to use that data in any real world machine learning training uh, uh, ongoing. So they already have a bunch of projects that they talk to uh, and. Uh, for example, they themselves, they have already, they claim to have already 2 million users, uh, as you can see here. So they want to create the sustainable to earn ecosystem that pays the users for contributing data that is then sold in the global data marketplace. So this global data marketplace is probably what stands for CryptoGPT. Uh, and that, that's why uh, I was a little bit confused in the beginning with the GPT name, because GPT basically stands for those machine learning models. And they actually want to focus more on the data part rather than the, the machine learning part here, uh, as far as, as I understand, at least in the very beginning. Uh, so. As you can read here, uh, CryptoGPT, this will serve as a cornerstone to upcoming ecosystem products, uh, including Data Capsule, NFT, Launcher, SDK, and Core. Uh, so uh, they already, they are a layer two blockchain network, proof of stake, of course, because of the Ethereum. Uh, and they, will, uh, they want to have, of course, as many users as possible uh, going forward. And this time-tested business model, of course, that's true because the data is the, the best business model uh, in the times we're living right now. Uh, so if they, if they manage really to, to innovate there, this will be huge. Uh, but of course, it's, it's a really hard business as well. So uh, this is something to be uh, looking forward if you're willing to, to buy any of these this tokens. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm only doing videos for educational purpose, but worth mentioning probably here. So economy, uh, you will have the global uh, marketplace because of course, uh, data can be used in a bunch of uh, different domains where, for example, of course, medicines or different uh, med medical research, education, biotech, tourism, advertising, uh, a bunch of other stuff as well, of course, like gaming. Uh, you, you can go on here. Actually, any kind of uh, business domain right now can be dominated by AI and you will need to have a lot of data to use that but it's great actually that they want to focus more on the biomedical stuff because uh, it's always great to, to focus and narrow down your um, your exposure here uh, finally there's technology and crypto GPT is building revolutionary technology layer to blockchain that monetizes the AI and data revolution uh, we use a lot of low-cost secure safe private ZK roll-up technology uh, and they want to turn this way data into valuable asset used in AI models to power value creation in many industries so data to AI engine and uh, ZK roll-up layer 2 uh, for for privacy security scalability uh, this generally speaking connects well uh, so uh, this generally look good uh, as the as the whole product so definitely I like what I'm seeing here this is kind of also my mission to you know bring AI uh, to decentralization and make sure that there's enough uh, 
different kind of our infrastructure that we were able to actually run, train, deploy machine learning models on chain. Uh, and uh, they definitely go to going to that direction, so everything will actually depend on the execution here, but all the ideas seems to be right. Uh, definitely worth looking to, I'll be definitely observing them going forward, seeing how they perform, what they will do, and of course, test the test net, the main net once it's live, and so on. So, uh, thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel for more updates on AI, crypto, uh, and everything in between. So, subscribe and see you in the next video.